Good morning or good afternoon to everybody out there today. Uh, my name is Joe Gonzalez and I, am, live, I live currently in Boone Street, Tennessee. Uh, Zuma Worldwide asked me to come in and do this presentation real quick to show you uh, what's out there and what people are using. And they're, they're under the misconception that bottled water is better for you. And uh, I'm here just to show that uh, it's all a money game and we're, we're not fighting the system. We're just showing that, that we can make things better with what you have. At the current time, you can probably see we have, th these bottles are, if you might recognize them or not, but they're all some series of bottled waters that are out in the market today. And um, I'm gonna just show you the, the difference between uh, some of these sources that they use. Uh, they're claiming to be spring water, they're claiming to be clean and all this kind of good stuff, but you know, one of the biggest issues that we have is alkalinity. If your body is alkaline, chances are that you will probably not be uh, exposed or come with a, a bunch of these various diseases that are out in play. And a lot of it has to do because you currently are in an acidic state. The acidic state, when your blood is, a, is in an acidic state, it has a tendency to create problems through the entire body your blood's supposed to be set at 7.369. And if you look at the little charts in front of the little containers, you'll see a variation of colors. Those colors are gonna indicate the acidity level of, the, of this water that I'm pouring in these little containers. And it's gonna show you what you're actually consuming. Um, water is good for you. I'm not, water is one of the things that we need to do. There's a, the majority of the people that are walking out there on this earth today are dehydrated. When your body is dehydrated, you, that means your brain's dehydrated. And that, that in itself is another, is another issue here. What I'm, uh, what I'm showing right, what's in this glass is tap water from the, uh, the faucet, the local water supply. This pH drop is a drop from a chemical company, which they're designed to be able to do this type of test on labs and everything else. And it took me a while to find the right one that gives you the right color to a real, a real true indication. If you notice, I'm putting about three drops in each container and it all varies in different colors. And if you match the, um, the color to the chart that's in front of it, it indicates the acidity level of the um, of these bottled waters you see in front of us. This one's pretty pretty nasty looking. If you very look at the color, this color right here is basically the normal one of a lot of the bottled waters that I see. This bottle of water right here is basically one of the ones that are coming up the most neutral in the neutral positions, which is a seven pH level, which basically this is, there's no harm being done. These other ones are, are acid and they're causing a problem or they will cause a problem in the future if you continue to uh, make your um, body acidic. What you see here on the city water, that's the local city water, it is indicating that it is uh, alkaline. It is a better than a seven, it's a seven, seven, seven pH level. And the reason the utility water is at that level is because most likely it has to be chemicals induced because by law, if it comes out of the faucet, it has to be a seven. And to make it legal or make it be able to the, for them to serve it to the community, they, power, they have to modify it to make it come out to a seven. The other thing is about uh, uh, water that you're buying from the store, from, uh, that you're getting from your utilities. A lot of people are complaining about the chlorine in it. Well, you gotta realize that with Zuma, with the X2O, in itself, it, it does neutralize the chlorine in the water. So where you're spending your money, that's entirely up to you. But let me show you this bottle right here of X2O. There's a little sachet in here uh, and um, and this is water, comes from bottled water that I put in here. 
and you put it in, you shake it up, let it sit for about five, 10 minutes, and then you start consuming it. It actually does change the taste of water. It makes it taste like water. Water should not have any taste. It should be like spring water used to be. Let me show you what it does when I put the pH test in it. See that color? I'm missing my little spoon, but anyway. Um, it turns blue in color. And, um, and that indicates the pH level, which if you look at the chart, it's sitting at about a nine, close to a 10. And that's healthy for you. What's not healthy for you is what up front, because now your body has to fight off or try to replace the alkalinity back in your blood if you're consuming this product. That, you're consuming acid products every day. You're buying it, they're advertising it, and it's, uh, it's, it's a shame that we are kind of duped into believing that this is better for you, when realistically it is not. But Zuma Worldwide, their intention is to educate us and make us make better choices. One of the better choices we have is to put that little sachet in any of these bottled waters, shake it up, and drink it, and you're going to be, be able to get, get your pH level back up where it should be. You'll be a lot healthier. One of the things that I need to show you real quick is, um, I'll just put a couple more drops in here. Look, I just added uh, some more drops to it, and I want you to see what our advertisers are doing to us and our children. This is a uh, soft drink. Actually, they ought to be calling them hard drinks, but it's a soft drink. And um, an average person will go to the store, and they used to be eight ounce bottles. Now they're about 16 or better. Or you can go get a big gulp. But this is just a teaspoon of this soft drink in this 9.5 or 10 pH water. So can you imagine what your body's trying to do to correct what you just did in a teaspoon of soft drink? It's amazing. For an eight ounce soft drink that you take in, you have to, you have to drink at least 32 eight ounce glasses of good water to get your body back to where it was before you took a sip out of that soft drink. How many of you out there drinking 32 ounces of glasses of water after an eight ounce soda? No telling about those 64 ounces. Just a basic soda. Now, let me point this out to you. How much of this nine point or 10 point pH water will it take to bring it to at least neutral? I can fill that baby up about five times and it'll still be still register acidic. What I've done, I've taken the liberty of putting a sachet in each one of these bottles that you see in front of me. There's a little sachet floating in each one of these bottles. And I am going to show you something that is going to kind of floor you. And I hope uh, it makes a, I hope this brings credit to what Zuma has out there, and the foresight of our president of our company. His main goal is to try to, or get the sodas or the soft drinks out of public schools. And he has a good reason to, because look, what, look what's happening here. This is a regular store-bought water bottle. Same stuff you see up here, but with a little sachet in it. Look at the color of that bottle. Look at the color of that water. This is healthy for you. So what we have is anything that you have out there that you're using or drinking, consuming, thinking, or being 
uh, told that it's good for you, you better start taking care of yourself and making the right choices for yourself and your family and your children. Because as adults and parents, our, our children look up to us. They follow our example. And if we're drinking a bunch of soda and stuff, soft drinks, they're going to want to do the same thing. And we know childhood diabetes is on the rise. And it didn't used to be that way. It used to be something for older people. But now the, we have a doctor on staff. He's a pediatrician. And he came out with startling reports like yesterday. Things that are uh, that just astonish me that uh, we're at that state. And we're, what we're doing is we're listening to media. We want stuff that tastes good. And we don't want to take the time to prepare it ourselves, so we buy it. And everything that you're buying, like in fast food stuff, is acidic. If it wasn't, probably a lot of people wouldn't be buying it because usually it's kind of bland tasting, but, but it's healthy for you. What do you want to do? You want to kill yourself? Go for it right ahead. But let me show you something else real quick. Kids will say, I don't want to drink that water. I don't want water. I want something that has a flavor to it. That I want it to taste good. Well, what we've done, or what the industry has done, is that they realize that the consumption of straight water is not going to really quite happen, but they have a solution for it. They have these little drops that you put in a glass of water, and people are, are misled that because it's sugar-free or whatever advertisement they put into it, that it's healthy for you. But uh, this kind of floored me the other day, and it's pretty measured squirt. So, you tell me, just based on the color tone, which one's a little bit worse for you than just uh, a little bit of soda? Now, I'll take another step. I'm going to put this right up here, and I'm going to pour this baby in here. And you got to realize, I just put one squirt, and that's what they recommend for a big glass of water, whatever, whatever they recommend out of that little thing. But I'm going to put this water in, in this container. You've got to realize it's only a squirt. And I poured it in. The water is basically set at about a 9.5, almost to a 10 pH level and is being reduced to a, a four. You gotta realize when you get to a two and a one, it's basically battery acid. So you decide. You're gonna take care of yourself, do the best you can for your children. You're gonna prevent some diseases that are common nowadays. And that's because of, uh, it's just because our bodies are highly acidic. We need to get our bodies neutral. One thing that I do say is that I'm standing here because I'm a product of the product due to the fact that you, if, you, if you knew what I looked like or how, how painful I, I ran around with and walking and talking and do but I mean, I used to be just kind of vegetating because I couldn't do much. My, my pain, my joints, um, I'm pretty, pretty well, I'm pretty off. Uh, I'm not doing very well. I have, hadn't have been doing very well, but I learned about acidity in my blood, and I took charge. You have to take charge of your body. You take. You got to take charge of what comes goes in. You got to take charge of your children. The company's slogan is to change the future generation to better health, and this is what we want to do. And I'll leave you with this. You can continue to do what you're doing right now and, and look at a change, but it ain't gonna happen. It's gonna change, but it's gonna change to the worst. Or you're gonna take charge of yourself and your body and do what is right for you. It's not expensive. You waste more money on junk than you would uh, on, on this product. And the other thing is too, I'll leave you with this. Your body is the only place you live. Thank you, and I hope this uh, 
shows you uh, or gets you to the point where you can make some changes in your life for the betterment of yourself and your children.